Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to take you along as I plan my first week back at homeschool, our second semester. Uh, this is actually my first video of the new year. I got a new care cut. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you guys liked it like I really like you guys I really just shaved it all off and I really wanted to you know have a little change for the new year and I'm really really been loving like my haircut um, I hope you guys like it too but um, you guys I'm just gonna take you with me as I plan our first full week back at homeschool last week my kiddos they were really craving for us to start back school even though we still had like one more week back before we officially started so on Wednesday Thursday and Friday um, um, all of my kiddos, we did math, uh, reading, uh, for my oldest daughter, Brielle, we did grammar and we did a little bit of history. So we, um, you know, we dabbled into a little bit of our curriculum. We really had short days uh, for those Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We were done school like about maybe 10, 11 o'clock because we wasn't doing like our full routine. Um, but my kiddos, they are craving back for our like regular routine to be back and like some more normalcy. Um, while the Christmas decorations and everything like that is put away, the holidays are, you know, officially over. I'm so sad, but um, I am ready to kind of get back into the groove, you guys, of like homeschool and our routine. So um, we're going to go in full force this week. I'm a little bit nervous, you guys, because especially like that first week back, it is always like the worst. So I did my meal planning this week, you guys. I actually went grocery shopping a little bit earlier today before filming this video because I definitely know um, I need to be prepared for that because, you know, at the end of our homeschooling days, like I'm not trying to think about cooking or anything like that. So, you know, I put all my ducks in a row. I'm trying to be, you know, uh, good when it comes to like all of the other things in my household too. So so um, you guys, I'm just going to take you with me as I plan like our homeschooling week. You guys, I really have been loving like my school nest planner and everything like that. I really have been like documenting like our homeschool journey in this school nest planner. And um, it really has been fun for me to use a planner because this is my first official year using like a planner throughout our whole homeschooling year. And it's so great to be able to like look back at all of the things that we did. I love like the reflections page that's in here. And I really have been like like utilizing that and reflecting on our homeschool each week and um, I wrote down some end of the year reflections too as we ended off our first semester of some like goals that I do want to attain in our homeschool this second semester um, but other than that you guys we're gonna go ahead and get on into this thing and I'm just gonna plan out my first week back at homeschool Okay, you guys, I'm actually going to start off our planning by planning out math. And as you guys know, we're using Saxon math. And right now, Brielle is actually on lesson number... She's on lesson number 43. She made a mistake on a uh, Friday and she actually did lesson number 44. Uh, but that's okay. She's just going to, you know, s go back to 43 where she's at. And then from 43, we will go to... Um, lesson number 45 and then after 45 i believe she has a test so in this little notebook right here you guys i just highlight um when we are up on a test so yeah so test number eight we have to take it after uh, lesson number 45 so she's going to have a test I believe on Wednesday so I already have her test forms right here for her to go so what I will do is when we are going over um, her plan for the week and I'm uh, allowing her to fill out her agenda um, she just knows to go in this binder to get her test for Wednesday so that's lesson 43 she's going to be doing so 43 she already did 44. She's going to be doing 45. Okay, what else? We have 40, the test, lesson 46. And then she's also going to be doing lesson 47 on Friday. So she's going to be doing circumference. So um, I went ahead on our math shelf in our little supplies and I got her compass uh, so she can have this uh, because it looks like she's going to be using this. So I want to make sure I go ahead and put this inside of her um, box on her desk so she knows uh, she needs her compass for her circumference. And then I also she where she's going to be doing some decimals and percentages. So I went ahead and I have like her manipulatives that she does use when she's doing like decimals 
decimals, fractions, and percentages. I'm going to go ahead and put these out on her desk because I know she's going to use these for math. Um, as far as the instruction goes, we do utilize Nicole the math lady for all of her teaching. So I don't have to teach it. And now you guys, I don't have to grade her work anymore because she does Nicole the math lady's online grading. So uh, now that I have her test forms all copied and ready to go in this folder, I have her uh, math manipulative she's going to be using. That's all I'm going to do as far as planning out for math. Okay, you guys, as far as like our spelling, grammar, vocabulary, uh, handwriting, all of those things are like open and go. I really don't have to plan them. All I have to do is say, Brie, just do the next page, the next lesson. But as far as IEW for our writing curriculum, I do make sure I do look ahead and I plan for this. I do want to reuse this uh, with my younger kiddos. So what I have been doing is just making copies for Brielle to use instead of her writing on the originals. So I'm able to utilize this again in our homeschool. Um, so yeah, so all I have to do is just make copies of the upcoming week. This right here, you guys, is like the IEW's adapted schedule, their 30 week adapted schedule. And we are at the halfway point. So right here, this is where we're coming at. We're on unit number 13. It's 24 units in this program. And you guys, in my last video, when I did my mid-year curriculum update for Brielle, a lot of you guys was asking how I schedule out IEW. And you guys, I don't schedule this out at all. I just went on IEW's website. Um, when you purchase this uh, IEW, they do give you like downloadable links. And this is the 30-week adapted downloadable link that I just print it off and you guys I just followed it to the T and that's just kind of like how I've been doing this program so uh yeah so right here again we are going to be on this week so her source text is going to be from the camel in the tent she's going to be writing a three paragraph essay she has to work on quality adjectives and she has some new band words which is going to be good and bad this right here is like a suggested literature for us to read. Um, what is this? Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. I actually have that picture book. Um, we might read it. We might not. Most of the time, I kind of skip out the suggested literature uh, suggestions, and I just stick to the meat of this curriculum. So um, I do have this book on my shelf, so it just depends. So all I have to do, you guys, is just come in here, and let's see. I have my tab. So... What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make copies of all of the things she needs. So she's gonna need this one right here. She's gonna need her new band words. And then this is the checklist um, that we're gonna use for this week's IEW. Um, but other than that, other than me just making copies, this is pretty much ready to go for us. Um, again, she watches the video lessons held by Andrew Pudawa. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside because I know I need to make copies for my younger daughter as well, my four-year-old. So I'm gonna put this to a side and I'm gonna keep on going as far as planning for Bria. Okay, you guys, for science, we have been utilizing uh, God's design for heaven and earth for our science. We are actually on our universe part. But you guys, I'm not going to lie. Um, as much as I love God's design for heaven and earth, I really have been finding, especially for um, space that we're doing, I really have been kind of like going off on my own, like really... Uh, kind of creating this science unit all on my own. Um, so I really have been utilizing a lot of um, videos and things like that online about space. And we've really been utilizing our space, our DK space encyclopedia. So I think um, since we're at the portion where we're gonna break down each of the planets, I think I'm gonna kind of like just use this DK encyclopedia and kind of continue to like do this all on my own. While I love the format of this, I, I'm kind of finding that I'm liking piecing our science together all on our own. And um, again, like I said, we are on this uh, unit four where we're going to go over the planets and then we're going to talk about the space race. I really feel like I can do those things all on my own just by using the DK Encyclopedia and us watching YouTube videos like we have been before. This right here is a um, Teachers Pay Teachers um, little flip book that I'm going to have Brielle uh, do as we go on um, talking about each of the planets. And she's going to write like some interesting facts or whatever stood out to her in this little flat book. And I think she's really, really going to enjoy this. Um, I'm going to try my best to find the Teachers Pay Teachers and link this if you guys are doing space. But um, I went ahead and I put this uh, template together for her already to go. So um, our first planet we're going to be talking about is Mercury. So I'm just going to like go in here and um, I probably should tab it you guys <laughs> where Mercury is at and we'll kind of just uh, go from there and talk about our first planet. 
So we do science twice a week. So um, I guess we will just be doing the planets Mercury and Venus when we uh, go into our uh, science. So I'm kind of excited as I'm kind of like doing this all on my own uh, using uh, Teachers Pay Teachers and my encyclopedia and kind of like free form in this science. Um, we are going to start talking about a person in uh, as far as like space, the space race. And I think we're going to go ahead and start off by talking about Mae Jemsen. This actually is a free unit from the Waldorf Way. And I went ahead and I uh, printed it off. Uh, so Brielle is going to be doing like a biography about her. And we're going to be doing a timeline of her life. I, and this right here is another thing I thought it was cool where Brielle can compare and contrast herself to Mae Jemsen. Some of the things they have similar and the differences. So these are just some of the templates from the unit that uh, stood out to me as far as that. I went to a library, you guys. And um, I did check out a few books. Some of the other books that I have reserved, they're not ready just yet. But the one that was ready was uh, this book right here, Mae Jemsen. I had to get this book, which is May Among the Stars. And I know this one might be a little bit young for Brielle, but I think it'll be cool to like incorporate my toddlers in this unit as much as um, they can and kind of like read this book. I thought it was so cute. Um, so uh, yeah, this will kind of be a fun one for us to sit down and uh, read together since we're going to be talking about Mae Jemsen. Something that I already had on my shelf was uh, this book Little Leaders Bold Women in Black History and they do have a section where they're talking about Mae Jemsen so hopefully this will kind of help us fill out the bibliography and the timeline but I do have two other like chapter books about Mae Jemsen that I reserved at the library that we can continue to use so hopefully they will be ready sometime next week but if not I do have some books for us to like kind of start off our unit so that is my plan this week for science as far as us talking about Mae Jemsen Hopefully we'll get this done in like the next two weeks. So um, we're going to talk about her. And I think after her, we're going to go ahead and talk about um, all of the other women that impacted the space race. And you guys, I'm so excited. We're going to watch Hidden Figures after this. So we will begin to use this book um, as we finish off talking about Mae Jemsen. So I'm really, really excited. Um, and this is kind of like what I have planned to finish off like all of our um, space. So hopefully I can kind of like pull this unit together and I'm really really excited by doing this all on my own and uh, kind of getting a feel of creating a unit study by myself. Okay, you guys, this right here is our current reel out that we're going to be starting on Monday, which is called Planet Earth is Blue. And I figured this will be a really fun reel out for us to read. I know we probably won't have this finished by the time we finish our space unit, but um, I love incorporating like fun reel outs. We have been utilizing Audible. And one thing I really have been enjoying about this book is that this book is actually a really powerful story about an extraordinary girl who has autism and her dream of going to space. So I'm so excited about about this book. I already saved it on my Audible. So uh, when we do read books like this, Brielle follows along and uh, we listen to it on Audible that way. And sometimes um, if she's really into it and she wants to read it, I allow her to read it as well. So this is going to be our read aloud um, starting off and I'm so, so, so excited. Okay, you guys, now for history as far as planning goes, I went ahead and I put our notebooking pages that we're going to be doing for A River of Voices from Blossom and Root. So our main reference book we're going to be reading for this lesson is going to be a thousand and one things everyone should know about African American history. Our read aloud that we're starting in this unit is Nzinga, Warrior Queen of Matimba. Angolia, Africa, 1595. Hopefully I pronounced that right. So this looks like a really, really cool read aloud. So as you guys can see, we are actually about to start talking about uh, from Africa to Virginia is uh, the lesson that we're going over. So we're going to be briefly talking about the first African Americans uh, that were uh that came over from Africa during the transatlantic slave trade. So we're getting in pretty deep <laughs> in a river of voices, uh, but I'm totally prepared for it. And I have all of the books and the literature we're going to be using. Uh, we have our journaling page that Brielle is going to be doing where she is going to be writing what she learned about in Zinda. In Zinda. 
I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I'm really, really excited. So that is going to be her uh, written portion for A River Voices this week. And then she does have some mapping. Um, what we have been doing as far as our history goes is that uh, Brielle actually has been documenting everything in her school nest history notebook. And I'm going to share with you guys uh, just some of the pages that she has been doing. This is actually the last page that she did from A River of Voices where she did some copy work from the last uh, read aloud book that we read, which was Alliance to Guard Us. And then she had a notebook and assignment where she had to notebook um, what she thought would be the hardest part about living in an early English American colony. We found some pictures on the internet and she pasted them. And I feel like this came out pretty, pretty good. Okay, you guys, we are actually doing two history curriculums this year. We are actually also doing Heart and Soul by Heritage Mom Pack. And we do a River of Voices twice a week. And then we do Heart and Soul on our Fun Fridays. You guys, like, I definitely have to film a Fun Friday so you guys can kind of get a glimpse of what we do on Fridays. But we really have been enjoying our African American history. This right here is going to be our picture book that we're going to be reading this week with um, Heart and Soul. So what is this? Crossing Bach Chito? I believe that's how you pronounce it. <clears throat> So I already have this book on my shelf. We're actually going to be starting a new uh, chapter book, which is actually Stella by Starlight. And we're going to be reading chapter one and chapter two. And this link right here has a poetry uh, piece that we're going to be reading as well. So um, our African-American history is going so, so well. It's so much fun. And it's so crazy how well these two curriculums have been like meshing well together. So we really have been enjoying both of these. So um, I'm excited. So we have two days of A River of Voices ready. I got all the books on my bookshelf for heart and soul so all I have to do is put all of the chapter books we're going to be reading on our homeschool card so you guys I really think this is it for Brielle um so yeah I'm really really excited you guys about all of our history lineup and I know it seems like a lot but if you want to see like us doing a lesson of a river of voices um I definitely already have a video on my channel and you can kind of see how simple it is and I do want to film you guys us doing heart and soul because it's just as simple and it's a really really fun history curriculum as well all right you guys and now as far as my planning for my uh, youngest daughter or not my youngest daughter my middle daughter Leia who is four um we are doing kindergarten math with confidence with her and you guys we are on week number two we actually went up to lesson number um three so lesson 2.3 so in week two we was on day three but since we had some time before uh since we've picked up this curriculum, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start her back from the beginning of the week number two. So um, I don't think she will mind. She really, really enjoys this curriculum and the lessons are very short and sweet. Um, even though she has already done the student pages for these lessons, I don't think it will hurt us to repeat them so she can kind of get back into the flow of kindergarten math with confidence since we're so early on. So you guys, for this week, our math picture book is um, zero is the leaves on trees. And you guys, I'm not going to we already have read this book several times because when I picked it up from the library, she looked at it and she really, really enjoyed it. So this just goes over the concept of teaching the kiddos what zero actually means. So we're going to continue to read this book. And even though it only has a schedule to read this book on Friday, Leia loves to read the math books all week long. And I kind of incorporate it in her read aloud time as well. So we're going to be reading this math book this week. So as far as kindergarten math with confidence, the only thing that I had to do was I had to make like flashcards because we're going to be playing um, store. So I went ahead and made all the flashcards that I need on these just simple index cards. Here is like my math box that I have for us, uh, things that I use when we're doing a kindergarten math with confidence. Um, I have our 10 frame that I already laminated. So I have those ready to go. And since we're going to be doing store, I went ahead and I put some um, pennies and dimes that I had like in our piggy banks already around the house. And not pennies and dimes, pennies and nickels is what we're going to be talking about. So I have pennies and nickels already in here ready to go uh, for us when we get to that lesson again. So as far as Leia, math is already planned out. Um, so I'm really, really excited to kick back into math with her as well. Um, we also are going to be doing our all about reading pre reading. I do want to make some copies of the next letters that we're going to be doing in our um, letter crafts that we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and tear out the next letters we're going to be doing and make a copy. And then and also to the next letters we're going to be doing um, in her um, letter book. I believe I already have L and 
M downstairs. So I just have to get N and O copied for her just because I like to have four days uh, already ready to go because we do the all about reading pre-reading four days a week and then she does her math four days a week as well. So um, I'm really, really excited uh, for Leia. We actually already added in um, another math curriculum, you guys, and I'm gonna talk about that in a separate video, um, just because we're kind of getting our feet still wet with it, but um, she really, really loves math, and um, we have been enjoying like her lineup. So this is all I'm gonna be doing this week with Leia. I'm gonna keep it simple. Um, I'm also gonna be doing handwriting with her as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, you guys, and make these copies that I need, and go ahead and start putting all this stuff on my homeschooling cart. Okay, you guys, the last thing I have to do is go ahead and fill out my school nest planner. I really, really love this planner, you guys. The weeks are laid out so, so, so simple. So um, all I'm going to do is um, just go ahead and write out like the subject and um, like math, language, art, science, all that type of jazz because I actually don't fill out what we do until we actually do it. So I actually utilize this as a reverse plan. So I really, really love this template. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like I did in my other planning video is I'm gonna go ahead and write across like our subjects and write across like the kiddos and how I like to set up my um, weekly plan. And that is pretty much it as far as like uh, my planning of this week you guys and um yeah let me go ahead and get into filling out my actual planner guys before I go here is a quick look of my planner and how I'm starting off this next week so what I did was since we did some work in December um, I didn't want to use a whole week so I just wrote down like what we did in December and then what we also did um, our first week coming back to school just so I can make note of that but I do need to come back and fill out like our month my month for January I do want to write my goals that I have for this month and um, this is my weekly reflections page and as as I showed you guys a little bit earlier here goes like one of my reflections pages and this is like how it looks at the end of the week where I will like take pictures of the kiddos so um, hopefully I will have some reflections for this week and this is the page you guys just see me fill out where I go ahead and I pre-write all the things so you can kind of get an idea of how we actually do all the things so we're gonna start off our week doing our uh, science space for Monday and Tuesday a river of voices is for uh, what is this Wednesday and Thursday and then heart and soul for Friday and as you can guys can see Friday is really light I have our reading detective our spelling test our heart and soul and then math I didn't get a chance you guys to finish like filling out the whole thing because my kiddos are calling me uh, but this is how I would do Leia's uh, this right here is kindergarten math with confidence all about reading pre-reading handwriting without tears and I'll kind of go on from there on Friday she has speech therapy which is perfect so I'm really only working with her four days a week and then after speech therapy on Friday, she's pretty much done. And speech therapy for Leia actually starts back up on this Friday. So I need to write that down here so I won't forget. So this is the layout. And at the end of the week, my whole planner will be filled. So you guys, that is how I actually plan out my homeschooling week. I really hope you enjoy just watching how simple um, I do things as far as planning. I really like to get everything done, uh, even to like the smallest thing, just because um, by me having all of the things prepared for our homeschool, our homeschool carts ready to go, I feel like I'm so much more successful. And I really hope you guys just like enjoy watching this process that I go through each week on my Sundays, planning out our upcoming homeschool weeks. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye. Bye.